written on the side but as you can see they they smudge and um, so I'm gonna start I gotta activate the color and I'm gonna start with the, with the uh, blues first these four come from so my Neptune series Hold on, this one. one two three maybe this one these are all Neptunes, and these are Princetons, and these are Grumbachers. It doesn't really matter what you use, just whatever makes you happy. And I have a fine liner here. That's a Princeton also, so, but they are watercolor brushes, guys. So I had to figure out which lines were the, were the sky, and which ones were the um, the walls because there's a lot of wall versus sky here so first I'm going to try to approach my sky issue then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go do some housework and get that done I'm going to start by adding some Prussian blue and a lot of times in Ireland, the sky is gray, but I want to bring out some blue. And then over here, let's do a little phthalo. Okay, which one looks more sky color to you guys? I think the Prussian looks a little more. And then let's do cold, some cobalt just for some that's pretty too. I like, I think I like these two, so let's do that. So the sky is all the way up here. I, though I've seen it where they, they overlap the other parts, like this part. I don't know, I don't trust myself. Which one did I use? I think I used the cobalt. So here's the sky. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna slightly change the color here. And this is gonna be the the thalo. So from here is thalo. Do I have the sky? Yeah. It's really light, guys, because I'm a little worried that 
I'll get it on there too dark and then I won't like it. So let's, I can always make it darker. It's a little, a little trickier to make it lighter. Okay, so we got some sky action going on. And then I'm gonna take a napkin and I'll try to blot up some clouds. I think that's terrible. Let's just get a little darker and see what happens. I just want some contrast, guys, because this is going to be a very, um, could be a very basic gray painting, so. I might, I might flip some colors in here just to, just to try some different things because if I hate it, I can always paint it over. But guys, it was, um, it was uh, tricky to get this. It took, it took me all day, all afternoon yesterday to, to draw this. We're adding some phthalo in there just to get a little different. Okay, then again, let's do this. this technique somewhere where we can get a little, little, looks like a little cloud action going back there. Just to soften up the edges. I'm just going to put water. I'm just trying to get into these little, little spaces here. Guys, a lot of times when I'm filming, um, I don't realize that I'm not getting all of this in the camera, so, and I can see my light, let me adjust my light here, okay, I noticed here, I need some sky color in there, and in there, in there, and then in here, I think you can see this part, right, so just some phthalo to Change it up a little bit, show a little contrast in the sky color. I'm happy with that for now. I'll come back and try to make that look a little better. What are we going to do next? Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on some of the stone. See how the stone is? This beige color, uh, rather than mixing, I have these woodlands um, that I bought, and they have this sand ridge color, let's see what else, yeah, let's do this, let's do this sand ridge color on the stone, just to get that started as a background color, I could put it here. Oh, this is a tin and I'm a little, a little hesitant to get it rusted, but I think that's the idea. Okay, so there's, I can get more water in there. Okay guys, so there's the color. I'm going to start here. Just as a backdrop color. I don't know, I didn't, I didn't draw any of these lines. Let's see, I see a lot of that color in, in this stone here, so here, here, so here, um, here, I drew all the bricks yesterday guys, it took me forever. But I'm not really sure how I'm going to approach that when it comes time to fill it in. I'll worry about that later. So just to get a nice background color started. I like this, this color. It's sand rich. I just didn't want to feel like mixing this morning, guys. But 
know why I didn't feel like whispering today. So this is going to be obviously more of a realistic painting. In other words, I'm using real colors, not not funky colors. I'm trying to mostly match this picture. So in here, this building is also this kind of goldish color. I'm not going to color paint it that color. I'm going to paint that another color. And then here, this goes here. So to me, watercolor is tricky. So my sister, Mia Michelle, has started her ASMR channel. It's in the blood, guys. Anyway, um, she's doing a lot of, this goes here. She's doing a lot of um, arts and crafts stuff too. Uh, she's doing a pen and ink. Thing. and I think she's doing some watercolor as well and it's just so funny that we both kind of started we both picked up watercolor at the same time I have two glasses of water one for the cool colors and one for the warm colors and in watercolor it makes a difference not so much in um, in acrylics. So I think after this, I may try to, uh, I don't know if I'm doing this too soon. I'm probably doing this too soon. I'm probably going to wash that again. I may try to um, do this exact same painting in an acrylics just to show you the different, the different things you can do. Okay, I see something I need to do. It's also good to have a paper towel handy. Guys, the thing I like about watercolor is it's very abstract. You can do whatever you want, basically. And um, see, I think I, I should have waited on this. That's okay. I'll fix this. I should have waited on this little this little line here. So it's very abstract, so there's no, like, exact, oh, you have to, like, this has to be this color, and that has to be that color. So the question is, what color am I going to do this building? I like this mist. Oh, this pond is like, wow. And that might bring some real cool contrast. Because I don't know anything about color theory, so... Um, somebody who does, who's out there, might be thinking to themselves, I wouldn't do that if I were you, but you know what? It's a painting, and if I don't like it, I'll paint another one. This building right here to be this pond blue. It is actually a blue in the picture. You can barely see it, though. It's just a different blue, and I don't want it to blend in with the um, with the sky. That's almost not enough of that color. So let's do. Oh gosh, I'm splattering, guys. Okay, I'm gonna play with this a little more just to get it a little darker. It's kind of boring, but it's a pretty color and. there to be pretty colors, even though it's really not the color that's in the picture. Oh, yeah. So it is coming out a little bit abstract, guys. So I, I started saying when I do this in the uh, acrylic, I'm going to do it in acrylic, too, just to see which one I like better. When I do it in the acrylic, um, oh, I like that. I think I'm going to not be so detailed. Ooh, I, that's a little dark. I didn't water that enough. I think I'm going to not be so detailed. And it'll be, um, you'll see the, the, the main difference. I'm going to shut up now because I'm going to focus. I like that. The scout 
who's sitting behind me. I'm on my bench. I'm trying to be careful. I don't want it to mix with the, with the blue over here. Like I said, I have a doctor appointment later, so I want to I want to get as much as I can done on this, then let it dry, and then come back and do the next layer. Okay, so now the next color I'm going to use is this gray stone. I should do the light back, the light background first. So let's do that. Doing it on dry, obviously wet on dry. So I think I want this a little lighter. So I'm going to just spread that out there. See the pencil lines? I'm going to work with those pencil lines later. Uh, let's see. Okay, so there's that. I like that color. Okay, so here we go again. More gray. Lots of gray in here. Right in there. So this is very... A lot of little parts here. I'm going to have to come back and color that... that um, Sand Ridge color spread a little bit more than I thought it would. The colors I'm putting in right now are going to be the light gray. I'll stay light gray. That's that's what I'm saying now. Yeah, this is gray. It's a window, but it looks like it has shutters. And then look at this spread out a lot more than what I thought it would. Oh, I wonder if I can fix that. smaller brush. The only thing with smaller brush takes more time. Okay. Gray. And then up here, I gotta get the gray in the, in this area up here. And that is one of the little steeples. probably a better name. I don't want it too dark at this point because this is just kind of like a highlight color. What I'm learning is that you kind of do the background colors first or the highlight colors first and then um, you kind of build on top of that. So finding out that watercolor is a lot of work. So when you see a good watercolor that you love, watercolor painting that you love, I hope you appreciate it because they're not easy. As you can see, and you know, I'm not the best artist either. I don't draw very well. And I need to practice. Let me do this. This is a red. See the red? So let's do some red there. Mixed it with the okra, which is more orangey, and that'll work. I think that's a good color. Okay, and then there's spots. I think I'm going to do the shadow on this part. So this one. It's just really almost black, gray. Hey guys, I'm back. And I just started repainting over this um, pond color. Anyway, everything went well at the, the doctor's office. My cholesterol was normal again. I think I need to start doing the next layer of color. So I'm going to go back to the Sand Ridge. I'm going to just add a little more color there. I don't know if you can hear my dog. He wants me. He wants me to stop. He's smacking his lips. Anyway, so we're just going to add a little more color in there. Did you hear that? I swear to you, it's my sister. I, I get I get noises out of 
of nowhere in this house. And I can't explain that one. Now, I know kitchens make a lot of noise, but I cannot explain some of the noises. Hi, Sassy. Sassy loved to watercolor. Some of you guys have her uh, watercolor print of um, Eileen Donan Castle. I sold that on Etsy for a little while. And that's it. So if you have one, you have a treasure because I'm not, not selling it anymore. It's framed now in the house. And I won't, I don't want to take it out again and make more prints. But, um, so good on you if you, if you bought one, because it's, it's definitely a treasure. Okay, I don't know what I did here. Oh, I know what I did. So I'm just adding another layer of color, guys. That's too much. You guys, I don't have um, control yet over how much. Probably should have painted that a different color. Oh, well. I don't have much control yet over how much paint I put on the, um, on the paintbrush yet. I don't love this color. I think I'm going to try this color. It's called Foxberry. I'll put the Amazon link down below in the description. I should have put... This is what I needed to do. I needed to put more sand here. More uh, sand ridge. dry a minute and then I'll add um, more of the foxberry. One thing I'm not really digging is it's not really looking like it's three-dimensional. I want to give a shout out to my friend Violet uh, because her sister, uh, her sister passed away unexpectedly last week for not getting the date right, Violet. And I've been praying for her and her family. Um, they live, she lives in the U.S. and her family lives out of the country. And her mom lives out of the country. Her sister lived in the U.S. anyway. They had to, um, it's very unexpected. Very sad. Minor malfunction there. My um, my camera ran out of space. I think he wants a snacky, and he's not going to get one because he's going to have his supper here in a little bit. There he goes again. He's killing me, guys. I got to work on those clouds. Hold on. The pets are a lot of work. Y'all, it's a wonder I get anything done. He was just barking just to bark at the neighbors. And now he's still outside, so he's going to start barking again. I'm trying to make these roundy. It's tricky to do the, um, the clouds because there's a special technique. And obviously, I don't know how to do it. I think I have to work with this color again. This bright green, greenish yellow, which is called daylight. Yeah, we're just trying to saturate this. There it goes. Barky bark. Looking at the neighborhood. I could just paint over this because I want to paint black over I like that color. All right, this is the stone gray again. Put more stone gray up here. 
here. Graystone, I think, is the color. There's Barky. I better go let him in. That's the I want inside Barky. Guys, this dog. I swear, he takes up like a third of my day. Sometimes I keep him in Georgia. And when he's not here, I, I get so much stuff done. I'm going to have to work on that. This is going to need some finessing. See how this all blotched out? That's what I did. And then this is shadow too, but I don't like what it did here. Guys, my dog won't be quiet. Okay, I'm using some shadow here. That's not bad. yellow and then there's got this little design right here and you can barely see from the distance I don't know what it is but I'm gonna add it just to see if I can get a little darker tint in there just to darken it up a little Named Scout Bob, and then he'll he could his name would have been Bob Barker. Just so it looks like I have a little bit of a glow on that lamp. So there's three lamps here. One, two, and three. Okay, so it was my washing machine. I had left the um the door to the laundry room open and washing some of Scouty Scout's blankets. So my own fault. So this black, it's a, um, it's a Windsor Newton black, but it's not acting like it. It's acting like a cheap black. This piece goes down this far. watercolor. It's kind of whatever. However it ends up, it ends up. All right. I'm going to start filling these in. Looking at the picture. that uh, beigey background. It takes a little time, guys. These are gray, too. But they start getting smaller. So a lot of times, guys, in these countries that are really old, these churches were built over years or they got destroyed and they were built over different times so things are different sizes the stones will be different sizes or they'll be wonky so right here we've got a bunch of smaller stones and they're all some of them are more gray and some of them are more brown so I'll come in with some brown in a minute These right here seem like they're all gray, so we're, I'm going to just fill those in. Hey guys, I am back to hopefully finish this project. It's been two days since I last opened it. And I hope I can get it done. This is stone. You guys are probably tired of hearing me say that. Sorry. And I'm trying to just do some tracing now. Oh my goodness. My dog 
just waited for me to sit down. Drink darn tinkle balls. All right, we're back. Guys, I literally just sat down and he asked to go outside. Okay. So we're trying to get this color pretty dark because in the picture, it's pretty dark. So, um, yeah, we're expecting the storm to come in. I just hope it's nothing major. I already brought my patio furniture, uh, the pillows in, because those will end up in the neighbor's yard. Oh my God, I just remembered my friend Louise texted me last night and told me that her friend had passed away and I haven't called her either, so I'm gonna have to call her. I'll be back. All right, guys, I am finishing up the painting right now, just adding a few little highlights here and there. Try to make it more, a little more realistic. I, I did the best I could. at Kilkenny. Um, here's the castle and rose garden. Right here is this St. Mary's Lane. So I believe this is St. Mary's Church. Yeah, so there is another view. There's another view of the tower that I painted right here. Oh gosh, I keep doing that. Okay, so it is St. Mary's Medieval Mile Museum, is what it is now, and this is St. Mary's, um, St. Mary's Lane. I, it's not a masterpiece, guys, but it's, it's starting to, you know, I'm just starting in watercolor, so. Alright, you guys, we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Ta